Levin Fitness and Kelly Whalen, our fitness director at the Maryland Athletic Club Harbor East, is joining us this morning with her workout partner. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. Thanks for coming in. You're going to talk yes. about how to work out and not hurt your knees. Absolutely. By popular demand, we're doing that. While he gets the foam rollers set up, mm -hmm. I just want to say that nothing here is diagnosing or curing right. injury, right. but in a lot of cases, uh, as you're doing your lower body exercises, mm -hmm. it could be your form that's causing the pain. So have someone check on that. But we're gonna start with foam rolling. Okay. This is like a deep tissue massage for yourself. So this could help loosen up some muscles mm -hmm. that might be pulling on the knee. Notice we're starting in the calf, right. at the calf. We wanna pay attention below and above the knee. Right, because uh, your calves can really lock up on you and too and then cause you knee problems Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. I think we only think of our quads, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and it tends to be if you're more quad dominant, mm -hmm. it can pull on your knees so this is another reason why we'd be foam rolling you're rolling about an inch a second we could spend a whole segment on this well, but and foam rolling always start with this it's kind of painful I mean Absolutely. that in and of itself hurts because it's breaking down things in yes. your joints it's, right mm -hmm, yeah. breaking up adhesions mm -hmm. uh, loosening up those tight muscles absolutely so we'll get into the exercise but I say always start with foam rolling okay uh, the next one here is a glute bridge mm -hmm. so he's gonna push his heels through the ground, lifting mm -hmm. the hips up. I never so knew that was the name for that. Oh, a glute, glute bridge. bridge. That's cute. Yes, absolutely. Notice he's straight from mm -hmm. shoulders to knees at the highest point, not too high, not too low. If you're not feeling this in your glutes, point those toes to the sky. Oh, this is a single leg glute bridge. Right. This is going to make it a little bit more intense. Yeah. You're going to feel this in your hamstrings. We're trying to um, engage the glutes and the hamstrings mm -hmm. so that we can relieve some of that knee pain that can be caused by mm -hmm. overfiring of the quads. Notice he's pointing his toe to the ceiling. So if you're not feeling it as much in your glutes as you should, this will help. Do that. That'll make yep. it Absol even tougher to do. Absolutely. And we have one more with the kettlebells okay. here. It's a single leg deadlift. Oh. So the That's nice a hard thing one. is, yes, we're going to avoid the balance mm -hmm. piece of it just to really work those glutes and hamstrings. His left leg is purely being used as a kickstand. Wow. So he is just taking that right, right. hip, throwing it back. Notice from the knee to the mm -hmm. ankle, it's staying very still. It's not a squat. It's more of a hinging deadlift position. So he's going to feel this a lot in his glutes and his hamstrings as well. Notice because you're only using this as a kickstand right. and your weight's not going through it, there should be no knee pain here. All right, that's really good to know. Yes. And he's using 10 pound weights, but he could also use five pound, one pound even. I've had people use no weight and feel and this just tremendously. That. And do, if you have any questions about these, you are experiencing pain, ask somebody to watch you um, get feedback on your form. That's good, thank well. you so much. Yeah. All really good tips. Nice to see you again. As always, nice looking arms. You're working it hard. <laughs> you're welcome.